So this problem asks us to calculate the degrees of unsaturation, then draw all the possible structures we can think of. And all we're started, uh, starting out here with is C4H6. And what I would do is calculate the degree of unsaturation. Um, and there's a nice little formula here. Um, it's two times the number of carbons plus two plus the number of nitrogens minus the number of halogens minus the number of hydrogens all divided by two. So we're going to plug in four here in place of C and plug in six in place of um, H. And what you get after this is um, uh, two. Okay, it's a nice whole number. So um, what this number means is that you could have two pi bonds. Okay, uh, it's possible to have one pi bond and one ring and it might also possible, be possible to have two rings. Now let's think about each of these uh, cases here. First of all, first of all um, we only have uh, four carbons, and so it's impossible for us to make uh, two rings. So uh, let's divide the page here in half and think about each of these possibilities. So let's think about uh, two pi bonds. Okay. Let's first think about the carbon backbone. We could have four carbons um, in a line or four carbons that are branched to start out with. Okay. Now let's add two pi bonds to this um, starting template. We could add a pi bond to one end like this and another here. So that has two pi bonds. We also could have these two pi bonds located um, off the same carbon. So this has one, two, three, four carbons. Okay, So that's another possibility. And you might think that's it, but remember uh, triple bonds are um, a, a pi system that contains two pi bonds. Okay, There's one sigma and two pi bonds, so this counts as two, two degrees of unsaturation. Um, the triple bond could be at the end of the chain, or it could be at the middle of the chain. Okay, so we have um, four possibilities here so far that we can possibly uh, draw. Now starting with this branched uh, structure, you might think, well, we could put a double bond here and a double bond here, but um, this, this molecule here has uh, five bonds on carbon, so we don't want to uh, draw that draw that structure. All right, so let's think about one pi bond and one ring. Uh, we have four carbons to play with, so uh, one possibility is just to uh, draw a four-membered ring. Another possibility would be to draw a three-membered ring and have a methyl dangling off. And so using this as a template, uh, what could I possibly draw? Well, the only possibility is to add a double bond somewhere to the ring. Any which side, it's all equivalent. This makes cyclobutene. So that would be um, possibility five. Okay, there's no other possibilities here. Okay, one pi and one ring. Um, here uh, we have uh, quite a degree of uh, variability. We could add the double bond to um, the external methyl group or carbon, right? We could possibly add the double bond um, in the middle, or we could add the double bond to um, these two carbons. Now you might be thinking, what if there were a double bond here? Um, that's the same molecule. So this molecule here would be the same as um, this molecule here. So don't let um, illusions fool you. So this is uh, possibility 6, possibility 7, and possibility 8. I wouldn't even draw this as a possibility. So that's how you do this uh, problem here. Such a simple formula has eight possible molecules. Thank you for watching.